Hi everybody, I'm doing a five minute mini session. I'm gonna go ahead and read these goals which are so out of this world. I'm actually gonna read some of them and then I'll copy and paste the remainder in the actual description if you're interested in reading it. Okay, so this session is for my son. He seems to be going through his own sort of awakening or realization about a past life. It is very clear for him. He has clear memory of being shot and then dying a short time later from infection that was brought in from the wound. This all came to him in a dream. However, even describing it to me earlier, he stated that he can feel it in his chest right now, a pain on his left side. All right, so my son requests any insight or healing you feel drawn to do. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm just sort of absorbing here. I'm just absorbing the energy here. Okay. I'm going to get started now. All right. Let's see what, what comes from this. Right now I'm just really high up and I'm looking downward. I keep thinking of Abraham Lincoln, okay? <laughs> Not that you were Abraham Lincoln in a past life, but maybe you were, but I keep seeing a man that reminds me of Abraham Lincoln and he's in the clouds right now and I'm experiencing being him and looking down, okay? I feel peaceful and I feel weightless. I feel light. I mean, not just lightweight, but there's a lot of light here. And the light is very specifically white. It's not yellowy or anything. It's white. And there's a separation here between you on the earth ground type of experience, okay? And then the spirit aspect that's way up here in the sky. And we're trying to bring um, a balance here between this part of yourself and then you down here on earth. All right, so we're going to start with this, okay? And my calling is to bring harmoni harmonize, bring balance to this. Okay. So I see that you aren't you're just busying yourself with life, okay? Like normal day-to-day -day life experiences. And this is way out of your realm of the normal day-to-day -day life experiences. However, you're tapped into it. I mean, I can see from your human, uh, the human version of you, there's a tiny little like thread of light on the side of your head. And then it's like casts a, a line right on out into this clouds and the, the guy. <laughs> Let me see. I'm still working on getting this deeper part of you to turn and then look at what I'm seeing up there. And then to bring this Abraham Lincoln image on down to earth here. And then for you to see each other eye to eye on the same plane. On the same dimensional plane. There's a huge gap between you both. I mean, huge gap. So even when I get Abraham Lincoln to come down to earth, there's a huge gap between you. And I can't seem to close the gap just yet. Okay. is just relaxing things on down right now. So to relax things on down, the, the awareness of what needs to take place is it's not so important as just allowing things to flow. So we just relax it on down and it's okay. Everything's always okay.
So I'm going to go into you. All right, I'm going to go into you. Not Abraham Lincoln is on earth. I'm still closing the gap. So I'm just going to go into this part of yourself. So lighthearted. <laughs> it's so fresh. It's very peaceful. I mean, the stars are bright. And the scene within you, I'm just sitting down and I'm looking up at the night sky and the stars are very bright and noticeable. And I'm really not giving any energy or attention to this whole event here. So I ask you if you would like to get to know this part of yourself more. To me, I know that in this dream it's about getting shot and, and what the experience is like to die in, in that moment. But deep down inside of you, you're actually at peace with it. And there's a part of this part of you, part of you got that got shot, that needs to come into balance with you. <laughs> it's very complicated, but it's not so complicated. You're really at peace. You really are. But why does this need to happen? I, I have no idea. <laughs> It just does. It just does to create a harmony in your soul. And so an idea comes to me and... I show you a photograph of what he looks like to me, okay? And I ask you if you're familiar with this guy while we're both just sitting here under the stars. You just kind of ignore this. Hmm. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to have any interaction with him. I say, do you feel at peace right now. I mean, you definitely emanate peacefulness, but when it comes to that photograph, do you feel, is there anything that feels off or incomplete? Hmm. He says yes. But it's as if he's not, I mean, it's as if this part of you isn't ready to process it just yet. I mean, process it on a bigger, grander scale than what you've experienced it as thus far. Because life feels like it has simplicities and um, joyfulness to it, peacefulness. So it doesn't need to be complicated with these I don't know how to describe it. I mean, this is kind of what what you're expressing to me, that you're aware of it, but you're just wanting to focus on life right now. I'm going to go to this Abraham Lincoln guy and I'm going to ask him what, I mean, I don't know what else to do here. I can't force him to just look at you and acknowledge you. Hmm. He's very warm. He's very bright. He's very kind. He's very patient. He's like a really awesome dad figure. That's what he feels like. Like a really nice guy. Very understanding. And 
And the next thing I do is I say, I feel that just having awareness of each other on the level that it's happening is all that really needs to take place. So I'm actually disconnecting a line, this sort of, uh, it's literally like a fishing wire. Um, I'm just disconnecting it and then I'm just letting the Abraham um, link and reflection just, just go do his thing and I'm letting you just do your thing. And it's all to just bring awareness and then bring you back into a state of peacefulness. Hmm. So he's just a part of the white light and you just get to live your life however you want to. That's it. <laughs> okay, it's, hmm, it was very warm. In a way, I thought I would be pulled into the lifetime to take a look at it, but it's already been looked at. The lifetime has already been looked at. So the next phase isn't to just look at it some more. It's to actually just bring it into a peaceful state and, and find completion with it. But it feels like there's so much more that you... that you can discover in time. I mean, you have so much time to discover so many things. So you don't have to be in any rush or any hurry. But this is just this is just what the spirit realm wanted to share with you today. <laughs> it was so easy and gentle and and nice and pleasant and peaceful and bright. Thank you for this experience. That was beautiful. For those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day.